Well, how do that, chums? As you can see, I'm inside of No Man's Sky, I guess. Well, Light No Sky. Yes, yeah, a sort of rendition of Light No Fire inside of No Man's Sky. Got myself a lovely Captain's Brew on the back. Lovely, lovely. Now, this morning, before I get too into things, before I start my working day, I'm going to be jumping into No Man's Sky, or Light No Sky, and hatching a couple of eggs. And then I'm going to be picking up a relic site or two, hopefully, people. So let's jump on over into game and let's do my little morning jaunt. Now, I try to do these each morning. Um, I haven't fired up Discord today on purpose because that sort of eats my morning away if I do. There's a lot of admin that goes into running this event. There is. OK, right. So I can hatch one of each of these eggs. So I've got a, a bird that I can hatch there. I've got a beaky that I can hatch there. Now, I did have a dragon, and that's also ready to hatch. I'm going to hatch the dragon first. Let's hatch the dragon. Let's have a look at him then. Let's have a, let's do a little quick test run of said dragon as well. Oh, let's um, let's gently pat him, give him a little treat. Let's take to the skies. Let's have a little fly on this guy. Let's see how high he flies. So he's going up quite high. And yeah, I can see past him. I can see below him. I think this is a lot better than the previous entry, the previous bird. And yes, he's, he's actually gone really high. That's actually really quite cool. All right, okay, well, let's dismount from this creature. Now, that, that's that's still a slight concern. You have to hit your jetpack right at the, la the last moment and not break your legs. Right, eh? Well, that's pretty cool. Let's despawn him and let's see if he does despawn as well. So he should be gone now. I'm just looking around. And look, look, he's still there. Now, apparently, Miyogi says it, if you just hit on them or something, select them or whatever, they're supposed to vanish. I don't know how you make them vanish, Miyogi, but he, he's still very much there, to be fair. Um, yeah. Do you mean, like, scan there or something? I don't know. But he's, he's still in the air, anyway. Okay, right, so he doesn't despawn, which could be an issue for some. Right, okay, well, let's uh, let's uh, hatch the next one then. So we're going to hatch a beaky. Let's have a look at a beaky, shall we? Gently pat, give him a pellet. Let's ride this one. Okay, well, that one's got freaking gorgeous wings. I like the green wings, that's pretty cool. The only trouble with this one... Is one, it doesn't seem to, oh, it's going higher, a little bit higher. It doesn't fly too high. And I'm struggling to see past it, to see the terrain. You know what I mean? It's, I would prefer to have a smaller bird if it doesn't fly high. So that one, I would probably use it. But I'm not too sure if I'd use it as much as the others, you know? There we go. So there's a bee key as well. But at least you could probably spot the sack of enemies here on that one. And dismounting from that one is a lot easier. I think it was slightly faster. Let's see if that one despawns. Let's go into here. Let's, um, boom. Oh, uh, yeah, that one did despawn, I think. I think he's gone. Yeah, that one, that one actually despawned as well. Brilliant. But you can see my first one, the dragon, is still in the air. Which is quite cool, because... If a lot of people have got these, it would make it look like the planet has actually got wild dragons, which pretty epic. Okay, right. Next one, then. So let's, uh, let's uh, hatch another egg. So we've done the beaky. We've done the dragon. So this is just the general bird, isn't it? So I've got one that I can hatch right now. So let's hatch him. Aha, this looks a little bit smaller. Ah, I'm liking the look of this one. He looks like a proper pigeon. Let's take to the skies. Let's see how... Okay, this one seems to fly a little faster. A little higher. And this one I can actually see past everything. This one's going to be good for doing little base tours. I am going to do base tours over this weekend, people. Of the bases that are inside of my faction's perimeter. So, oh yeah, I like this one. This one's going to be my casual day-to-day -day flyer. I mean, I don't know whether this one's going to be able to fly over the oceans. I'd imagine that giant dragon that we flew at the start can fly over the oceans. And I've still got Miyogi's massive giant bird, which definitely does fly over the oceans. So this one actually flies quite high too. Look, you know, that's quite a long drop for me there. It's 
sweet. Well, that was that one's quite cool. That one's my. I think that's going to be my main bird now, people. Okay, so what else have I got? So that's I've got one of each of those that I can give away today, which is great. Now I've brought over the eggs from my actual main save, but I've got a good twenty minutes for those to hatch. And then down here I've got my mounts, which um, again I've actually, I've actually already got one of these, so I'll show you him. I'll show you the mount. So this is the mount. I mean he's quite small at the moment. I need to sort of you know get him ready to lay eggs. He's too small at the moment to lay eggs. So yeah, but he's he's a little donkey, and uh, I'll be giving out those as well to people. It's quite cool, I guess. Nice. And I'm probably going to use him to go around and, and just trek this planet, for now, anyway. Oh, and um, I've got one other pet that Miyogi gave me, which is an Ewok. Look at this guy. He's freaking cute as a... Eh. Look at him. Look at him. Hello there, mate. Heck yes, he is. Look at him. He's freaking gorgeous. So he, he could actually come with me, to be fair, couldn't he? If I'm going on foot. Ah, am I going on foot, though? I don't know. Let's find out how far the relic site is away, because here's my relic map. Okay, boom. Let's see what we've got, people. Ah, it looks like another one of my birds didn't despawn. Yeah, it looks like two of my birds are still out, for whatever reason. Okay, cool. Right, so we're heading over that way. We're going to this ancient ruin. It's four hours away. I will be taking one of my birds. Heck yes, I will. Um, the other birds that I've got, the ones that are another, what, 20 odd minutes to hatch, these are all from my legacy save. These are all old pets that Miyogi done me for my legacy save. I will be hatching those later and showcasing those towards the end, so stick around for that. So, righto. So, if I'm heading out now, I need to change my, uh, my um, game settings. Let's go to difficulty. We're going to be putting that into survival mode. Yes. And on networking, I am going to be changing that to anyone with PvP. This is where I could die, people. Okay, right, so let's uh, let's get my favouritest bird, which is the new bird that Miyogi just gave to moi. Which is going to be this little kitty, I guess. Let's ride. Let's go, my little birdie man bird bird. Okay, uh, where's the thing I just marked? There it is over there. So we're heading to the Ancient Ruin. I'll be sure to hit record if anything interesting happens on said way there, or if I come across any sack venom which I'm keeping my eye peepers peeled for. Okay chums, now if I do fly over any little mini structures like this one, I am sort of jumping off my birdie man bird bird, and I'm going down and hitting up one of the actual save columns at one of these structures to get navigational data. Because the navigational data you can swap up at the actual station for, you know, map charts and stuff. I mean, I can buy some with nanites if I really want to. So let's hit this up. Boom. Create a little save. And then just above me up here, you'll see in a moment, I'll get a navigational data. Any second now? There we go. Now, I don't know whether this is a secured facility. If it is, I'm not going to break into it. But uh, let's have a look, see. Nope, we can go straight in. This is cool. All right, so there might be something worth having inside of here. Okay. Might be some navigational data in this cube, per se. Yes, we got another navigational data. Oh, hello, mate. What are you up to? Hello there, chum. Okay, brilliant. I don't understand a word, mate. Well, I understand a couple, not much. Cool. I will give you some ferrite dust. There you go. Have some ferrite dust. Oh, cool. And he gave me a word back in... Oh, thank you very much. All right, okay. Well, we've got this transmitter. I might as well hit it up. It might get me another site that's got navigational data. I might not go there this episode, but I'll go there at some point. Okay, right. Some maths this early in the morning. Okay. Well, one, two, six, twenty-four. So six... Times four is really adding twenty-four. So it'd be Is it gonna be eight times a hundred and twenty? Mm, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna go for six hundred and twenty. This is too early in the morning for this sort of map, isn't it? Okay. Dang it! Alright, well I got that wrong. Cool. It was probably the top option, wasn't it? Seven something. Yeah, probably was. Okay, right. Anyway, we're done here. So lovely jubbly. 
Usually around that little save tower, though, is some more things that I could have took advantage of, to be honest. Is there any other little boxes around here that I could have nabbed? No, there wasn't. Okay, fine. All right, cool. There's a... Oh, I was looking for my ship. Of course, I didn't fly her in the ship. I'm flying on a freaking dragon, aren't I? Or a bird. Right, okay. So let's uh, call in my bird, then. Um, you. Oh, yeah, i got to do that again. Oh, yeah. So it's so easy to just get on them when you first summon them. Otherwise, trying to get them out the sky is... Oh, look! There's a load of sack venom! Right there! Those little pink balls. That's sack venom. Cool, yo. Yeah. And there's a damaged machinery. Cool, we found a load of sack venom, people. Right, oh. We know what. People out there in the view of us. When I say view... Well, people out there in the view of us. More so, my... Um, my esteemed colleagues, my, my chums. I'm putting down a red beacon here. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't bring a load of oxygen with me. I left it in my ship, didn't I? And you know what I, else I didn't do? Uh-oh. You see, this is, this is the bad bit. Um, they send sentinels after you people. When you pick up the sack venom. Run away! Run away! Run away! Oh my god! Oh my god! Help! The sentinels are going to get me! Phew! Okay, right. Let's just keep digging. Keep digging till my shield comes back. Holy mackerel. Okay, right. Hopefully those sentinels will lose sight of me in a moment, people. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? I was going to take on the sentinels for a while, but you know what? I don't think that's a very clever idea. Okay, right. There we go. But I do want to get some more of that sack venom, if I can. It's not like I've got a cloaking device. I'm going to have a little bit of my tea... Then we're going to go back at that. We're going to go get a bit more sack venom. I think the sack venom's hitbox is massive. I think I got spiked by the sack venom at the same time as being shot in the face by a sentinel. I nearly freaking died. Oh my days, people. I think I found out why I nearly died. Um, a load of my tech is broken. Holy fudge. How did that all get broken? What the... Seriously, how did that get broken? Oh, for fudge's sake. Okay, right. Well, I've got a lot of fixing to do. I need some ferrite dust now. I left everything in my ship. I don't think my ship... I didn't fuel it before I set off from base. So, yeah, look. I can't call it. Dang it! And I put the launch thruster fuel inside of the ship. I don't want to use a nav data to call the ship in, if I can help it. But that's where all my stuff is. Because... Dang it! Right, oh, we got this. That's good. Did I bring a refiner with me? I better I have. I think I have. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, looks like we're back to basics on this little trek, people. Uh, where's that rusted frickin' metal? Give me my rusted metal. Oh, there you go, rusted metal. Doom, and into there. You know what I didn't check as well before I set off? I didn't have a look to see who's nearby. Okay, so these guys are both on my um, faction anyway. They're both part of my faction, so that's all cool. I should be I should be all right for now. If Professor Cynical was on, or any of the Cynical crew, I'd be a little bit nervous right now, people. I really would. Okay, because they'll come for me. I know they would. All right, so let's go over here. Let's... Ow! Fudge off! Dang it! How did that hit me? It wasn't ready to explode. What the fudge is there? Oh, there's, there's a grabber plant there. There's a freaking grabber plant among... You freaking... Oh, I used my bloody... Ah, I used my terrain manipulator, didn't I? That's how I got broken. It was by that freaking hitbox of that bloody plant. Oh, and it's broken this again now. Fudge iron hack. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, right. Hurry up. Can't be standing in a freaking storm waiting for this. Okay, right. Um. Yeah, I, I know. Right, uh, let's take the living slime. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I maybe I should go back to base and go get my bits out of the ship and refuel it, because this is insane. 
Let me in the ground. Okay, well, why is it not stabilizing? Go back up. Hazard protection, go back up. You know you want to. Oh, this is insanely bad. I think I need to fly back to base, but I don't want to lose the position of this sack venom. Maybe I need to go back and get my ship and get my basics. I need a load of oxygen because I've pretty much not got any oxygen. Oh dear, this has gone badly, hasn't it? Bad start. Okay, chums, well, it just said that the storm is clearing. I'm just going to give it a couple more seconds before I run out of my little hidey hole and go to my refiner and grab the frickin's ferrite dust, refix this, refix this on my days. I can't believe that that blinking plant with a hitbox of like six yards freaking just took out my shields. Um, not fun, not fun at all. Yeah, my, um, I haven't got no sodium on me. I'm going to have to fly back to base, people, because I'm, I'm not going to last long. But I do want to grab some of that sack venom. Um, it's, it's a tricky one. Well, I hope, I've got the marker on it now, haven't I? So hopefully I'll be able to come straight back here. And I could put out a beacon as well. Yeah, let's put a beacon out too. Okay, so put a beacon out. You just go into scan mode and press the square button. Chica pow. So I've got a beacon here now as well. Let's run over to this. There you go. My hazard protection is going back up now. Lovely. We've got our debris. So let's go fix that. Okay. Now I need to get some oxygen. Where's that other pumpy plant? Make sure I've got my... Not the terrain manipulator. My runic lens. Okay, right. Let's interact with this damage machinery. Let's see what we get. Oh, it's already been had. Has it? Okay. Fine. What's inside these boxes then? Aha! I got an ion battery. Brilliant. Well, I need the ion battery to fix that, but wiring looms I can only get at the station, so I'm going to have to fly all the way up to the station to get that fixed. That sucks. Okay, right. We've got that fixed. We've got that fixed. If there's some sodium nearby... Actually, I've got this battery now, which is good. Ah, look, there's a whole load of oxygen right there on the hill. Let's go get all that oxygen. And you know what? I might not have to go back to base. I might be able to just survive this, people. But then saying that, if Professor Cynical's crew comes along, I need to craft some more of that just in case. Let's go pick this up then. Lovely, lovely oxygen. Yeah, there's a good there's a good enough patch here to keep me going, people. Uh I say that. There's there was three plants. Okay. Now, there is a pumpy plant near here as well. I did see it. But there's also a sentinel robot flying around. Okay, right. Well, where was that lovely good sack venom? It's got three stars as an icon. There was a whole load of it, wasn't there? There it is, right there. Okay, people. Let's see if we can't get the stuff. Okay, this could be fun. Now, amongst this might have been one of those horrible plants. No, there's not. But Sack Venom has got the same sort of hit radius, and that's probably what took out my life support. Okay, we've got another one. Can we get a couple more? Okay, let's leg it. Let's get into the ground before the Sentinels have a chance to shoot me this time. Okay. That should do the trick. I'm slightly down. They shouldn't be able to see me. I hope. Hopefully they won't fly into this cave. Hopefully they're just deactivating a moment or two. Hooey! This is like nail-biting stuff. Getting sack venoms. How many sack venoms do I have? I have nine. That's quite good towards my whole collective total. I'm doing my bit for my crew. I guess I am. Okay, right. They're deactivated. Now, they have increased the hitbox of where you can pick things up. If I could sneakily pick these sack venoms up through the ground, that would be even better, wouldn't it? The only trouble is, is once the sentinels are here, they're here. So as soon as I pick up the next sack venom... They're going to go freaking mental. Look, he's right above the sack venom now. 
these sack venoms still put out their spores if you get close. Yes, they freaking do! Even after you've collected them, they're still bloody dangerous. Okay, right. So there's one there, there's one there. Let's grab those two. And let's get back in the hole. Run, Steve, run! Cool. All right, I think you've got the idea of what I'm up to now. I'm just going to do this a few more times until I've got... Well, actually, I think I've got all that sack venom now. I've got ten of them. That'll freaking do. All right, I've got enough sack venom there. I've marked it for all my little cohorts. And you know what, little cohorts? Let me give you the exact coordinates, just in case my beacon doesn't show up. There they are on screen right now. So that's plus 13.10... Minus 150.55, and it's near to that structure on the hill that you saw me at earlier. Okay, people, I think that's enough for Sack Venom right now. I think I should just head to the relic site and get my relic. Okay, right. Now, we have got the ion battery. I am in two minds of keeping the ion battery, though. Just in case, I need it. Um, let's have a look around. I might just gather some more basic materials. There's some more oxygen over this way. I might go get that oxygen, get a little bit of sodium. Just for going off on this little mini ex expedition, people. I'm going to get a few little preservatives. Well, luckily, chums, if you do scan the plants on this planet, they're going to give you carbon and oxygen as and when you shoot them. So there you go, I'm getting loads of oxygen just by shooting the plants on this planet. There's a little extra tip there for my crew. Just got to be careful what you do around these sentinels though, people. Let's grab some more sodium. Lovely. Now, I was quite lucky with this multi-tool. It already had an advanced mine laser in it or something, so I can get myself a load of advanced bits. I've just got some sodium nitrate. Oh, watch out for that. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I'm going to grab that. Okay, right. Now to continue my flight over to the ruins. So let's uh, let's call him my old bird. Lovely jubbly. Uh, bird. Bird. Let's go, bird. Oh, I have no treats to give him. All right. Well, I craft some when I get on his back. I don't. I can't feed him while I'm actually riding him. But I'll ride. I'll, I'll feed him when we get to the destination, people. So here we go. Let's make some pellets for him. There we go. Let's fly like the wind. Let's see if we can see any more. I don't know whether I would stop for Sack Venom right now, people, because those Sentinels are pretty gittish, and I haven't got all, all the resources that I want. I'm already pushing my limits of survival to the max! Heck yeah, some freaking Rambo in it, people. Anyway, if anything interesting happens, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay, John, so I thought I'd just stop off here for a second. Um, mainly because I saw that there's an opening in the ground, the fissure. I might be able to get a bit of cobalt while I'm here. And I hit up a save. Get another navigational data in a second. Lovely. Now, I have noticed my other birds are ready to hatch. I said I'd leave it to the end to showcase them, but, you know, I, I'm going to do it now because the bird that I've got flies extremely slowly. So I figured, let's just hatch these. Chicka boom! Hello there, mate. Give him some pellets. Now this guy, this guy is pretty darn quick. Look at him. He's far quicker. He's smaller. He flows low, lower to the ground. But that's the sort of thing that I want right now. A little bit more speed and power. Oh no. Just hurt myself getting off of him. Right, okay. Have I got runic lens selected? I have. There you go. I'm going to get the dehydrogen. Oh, Sentinels, leave me alone. I'm just getting some bloody friggin's, you know, cobalt. Nobody likes cobalt, apart from travellers. Right, here we go. I'll get some cobalt from here. Hopefully the Sentinel's not going to follow me into this cave. And I'm going to get a load of cobalt. Okay, so that's the first creature that I've just demoed, and he's awesome. I will be showing you the others in a moment. I just need to get some cobalt and I need to craft myself some life support gel and other stuff. You can see here I'm getting dehydrogen jelly. Well, dehydrogen. I'm going to turn it into dehydrogen jelly in a moment, people. There's reason for that. Yeah. I'm going to make myself some life support gel. I'm going to make myself some ion batteries. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
Okay, there's a little poisonous git there. I'm going to get rid of him as well. There we go. There's loads of hazardous flora there. There's even, there's even more of it. Look, there's loads of them. Jesus. Loads of hazardous flora there. That could have killed me if I wasn't careful. Okay, what's that? I don't know what that is. Okay, it's part of the scenery. Okay, I don't think we can do much with cave marrow, but solid. We we'll get some cave marrow as well then. Right out. Ah, another hazardous flora right there, and another one, and another one. There was three on top of each other. Now, if I was on a hazardous flora mission, that would never have happened. You know what I mean? Yep, stop investigating. There's nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Okay, right. So, let's see if I can now craft some bits and bobs, shall we, people? So, I can craft one of those. Is that it? Okay, well then I can do one of those if I wanted to. Or I could do life support gel. Yeah. Okay, what about the iron battery? How many can I do of them? I can do, I can do quite a few of them. All right, well, we get, we'll have 10 of them then, please. Thank you. Now, I do want to do some more of these, but to craft those, I need dehydrogen jelly, which means I need the blue crystals. And as you can see, we've got a freaking sentinel flying around here, which isn't great. Anyway, back to hatching eggs. So let's hatch this one, shall we? Let's have a look at this guy. So he looks really small. He is very small. I think this one is going to do the, um, the, the uh, dive bombing. But he's quite fast, doesn't fly high, and yeah, he does the sort of, the di well, uh, slightly does the dive bombing, but not as bad as my first mount, no. Yeah, he's actually okay. Oh no, he does, he does, he does the dive bombing. So he does the dive bombing, but look how fast he is! I don't want to go too far away from that safe point. And that uh, nice little galactic trade terminal, he's also hard to steer. He's good for a straight line, is that one, and he's super quick. Okay, so let's get back to that trade terminal, people. I want to see what's for sale. Right, so we're back here, people. Let's hit this up, then. Chikapow! Let's see what we can purchase, Kate. So, buying in here. Exosuit upgrade chart. Oh, nice. I can't afford it, but it was nice to see it in there. Quantum computer as well. Oh, you got Star Silk for sale in here. Pretty nice. Decrypted user data. Okay, what can I sell? I can sell you my living slime. There you go, you can have that. And I don't really want to sell much else, to be fair. I think I, I keep the rest. Yeah, I keep the rest. Okay, right. Lovely jubbly. Oh, we can sell the marrow bulb, I suppose. I don't think I can use the marrow bulb for much at this stage. Nah, I don't really overly need the units, though. Okay, right. So what's inside these little red boxes? I've already, I've already half-inched these red boxes. It looks like I have. What's on the damage? Is there any more rusted metal? There is. Lovely. We'll have that, then. What I'm going to get gifted. Ah, I've got a life support gel. So I've now got three of them. I've got three of them. So I think I'm good to go. Let's hatch another egg. So this is Captain Steve's dragon. He's pretty darn awesome, isn't he? Let's give him a treat. Let's give him a bit of a ride. So this is kind of like a mid range size one. And he flies sort of fairly okay. Not as fast as the little guy. But yeah, his turn circle's a bit better. He flies a little higher. He's quite cool, is that dragon? Okay. So we've got him. The idea is, if I can get all these up to the age where they can lay their own eggs, I can stop messing about with my saves, because you saw the palava that I had the other day. If you didn't watch episode 9, holy fudge. Okay, right, so let's hatch this one as well then. Aha. I think this is my going to be my main guy. I, I quite like this dude. There we are. Yeah, this guy flies fairly quick. He flies fairly high. And uh, his stamina's pretty darn good. Um, anyway, let's jump off of him. And I'll just show you all their stats, people, inside of my pet lineup now. Right, I'm just going to hit another save quickly on here. Righto. So, I've got all these eggs that I can give away. I've got six eggs I can give away today. Um, they, they're all going to hatch, hopefully, within the next three hours or so. And I'm going to gift into these to people that come to my base and drop off sack venom and also drop off trinkets. Holy fudge! Did you see that, people? I got attacked by bloody pirates! Little gits! 
Okay, well, I am at a point of, like, you know, a decent a decent area. You know, I've, I've managed to get underground, and I'm also at a little mini campsite. Holy mackerel. So you know what? I've saved here, but they're not going to go away. Normally, you'd have to get into your ship and shoot them down. But you can see there, my shield is going back up. So I've managed to get myself under cover. I've got myself out of the way. And because my shield is still freaking damaged, and I don't want these to freaking die again, I'm just going to reload. I'm going to reload my save just to get rid of those pirates. There we go. Oh, that's my starting day now, and I've finished my morning tea. I've got carried away, people. You know what? This is probably a good time for me to actually shut down, go make myself another cup of tea, and uh, pick, pick back up on my lunch break, which is going to be a little way into today. Well, not my lunch break, my, maybe my first tea break. I could do another 20 minutes and get myself to that relic site. If nothing interesting happens, I'll see you at that relic site, basically, people, because I need to get a wiggle on. You want me um, to shoot you? Right. Yeah. Basically, okay. if I get the settings right yeah. and get it taken and do the PvP, yeah. I'm hoping that I can give you those settings Right. and make you the last man standing. So if there's only two of us left, I would expect yeah. you to cut me down. Oh, no, as, no, no. As... It, 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 it's, it's just one, the last man standing for a faction. So, you know, if you you and me are the last people, we win, basically. Ah, right. So it's the last faction that's got a member left. And then, you know, ah. so if it was just me and you, you would be like, my hero, my champion. Yeah, okay, that'd be cool. <laughs> I just, I wanted to make sure because... Uh... I don't I don't suppose you've got any wiring looms on you, have you? Um give me a second. I'll see what I can um find. Would you like a um, a, a mount, like a horse? It looks like the one out of the light no fire trailer. Oh yeah, I would love one of those. Sweet, well there you go, there you go. Have one of those then. Um no, give me a second. I've give you the egg. Thank I'm you. I'm looking I'm looking through I've got a whole load of junk. I've got a 17 wiring looms, if there's any use to you. Uh, yeah, I could do with a few wiring looms, yeah, just uh, just in case things get damaged. I've got a damaged piece of tech at the moment. I need just a wiring loom and that, that I can get it fixed then, so that'd be awesome. Oh, oh nice there one! There you go. Thank you very I much! Some, I was killing some sentinels earlier, so if that helps... Oh, okay. You, you got any, what, shards um... of glass or something then? Yeah, I, I got those out of shards of glass. Sweet. So hopefully that might... Nice one. Yeah, that's going to help me with my. That's that's really helped. That's helped loads for my um, for my life support. That's brilliant. Hopefully this will help. Oh, I put that in the wrong one. I went to Starship. No, the anomaly. Yeah. It's Friday. Oh, okay. No, there's ever uh, in the rules. Yeah. It doesn't say you can't go and do. The mission but i would rather be a hundred percent um i don't think we've even discussed that one for weekend mission running getting some quick silver it might be an idea i'd have to run it past cynical and uh, ricey see how they feel about it it just means that people will be using their ships and stuff so i, I know you use your ship here but you probably hit join game and join me didn't you and just flew down from the main title screen yeah i did actually yeah. yes um yeah. Nice one. Well, thank you very much, buddy. That's that's awesome. Nice one. Oh, you, you, you're very welcome. As I said, God. I'm trying to do things right and get things right. So that's why I was thinking on the last man standing. If we can actually get settings yeah. perfect um, to increase basically oh, yeah. our outcome yeah. than anybody else, it, it would be ideal. That would be ideal, yeah. Um I'm slowly getting there. I mean, to be fair, I, I, I hope that we win the quest. The whole getting the treasure, the getting the sack venom. I just got a load of sack venom today. I put down a beacon, um, a red oh, beacon oh, just over excellent. yonder hill. Excellent. Yeah. Um, I'm just, was it near the south? I think so. I put a beacon down on it as well at the moment. Where is the beacon? It is... Oh, my beacon's vanished. This game is so janky. Yeah. But anyway... Uh, um... I'll, I'll find it somewhere because, as I said, I got lucky yesterday, so Sweet. maybe you found the ones that I've got. Was there six of them there? Uh, no, there was like 12. 
Ah, see, I only got six. Yeah, I managed to pick up 11 of them, um, but then the Sentinels were getting the better of me. They broke my tech, which you've just helped me repair. But yeah, that was yeah. that was a pain in the neck, hiding yeah. in the ground. It's going to be an interesting episode, that one, when I put that live. Yeah, I had to run away from those this morning when I was getting the album Perils. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does add that extra layer of danger, doesn't it? It's, it's a fun way of playing. Yeah. But yeah, I don't really mind if we if I don't win the last man standing. I hope somebody from my faction wins. I don't think I'm well, tooled up enough to win. I don't know. Um, you may be. Um, if I get more stuff for your multi tool. Yeah. yeah, if you find anything inside the damage tech. I mean, my multi tool is not bad at the moment. Its damage potential is 25047.9. So it's quite good on damage potential. Well, that is good. Um, I, I take it you're actually just using a bolt caster on it. No. Um, so when I claimed this wand, it already had two S-class freaking neutron cannons installed in it. It's going to vaporise people. So, I hope... I, I've, I've, yeah. I'm going to be a glass a, cannon. That's how many 16 and a half of the one I've got. Okay. I've just got the neutron cannons. Cool. Well. Um, but... Like I said, I can't use it, so won't. Yeah, I know, it sucks <laughs> um, a bit. I'm going to be a glass cannon. I'm just going to try and take out as many people as I can and just hope that somebody in my faction is the last man standing. Anyway, I need to press on and get to this relic site and go get a treasure. Then I've got to fly all back to my base. It's going to take me hours of the day to do. Mental. <laughs> but thanks well, for those I'm other done. charts. Well, people, I've arrived at Cajun at a relic site it's not the relic site there's another relic site just over yonder hill over there look i've got another 41 minutes to get well 44 minutes to get to that one but yeah just come across this one by sheer chance awesome let's see what we get people i'll just get all the keys and then i'll reconvene just as i open the chest peeps well here we go chums let's open up the chest boom how much good done oh my days we just got ourselves a golden one, people. Let's have a look-see. Oh, it's worth 1.6 million. I guess I got lucky lucky. I guess I did. Right, well now we're just going to fly over to the other relic, which is over this way. Chikapal. And let's get my bird. Coolio. Uh, this guy. Let's ride! I guess to the skies, my pretty. Yes. Right, another 44 minutes this way. But as you can see there, look, it's not 44 minutes at all. You can see that time just plummeting as I fly across the sky. Well, chumps, I've just come across another relic site on my way to the relic site. Yeah, look, 19 minutes that way. And I've got another one right here. This is going to give me the echoes of the past, though, if I hit the right option this time. And hopefully I get another treasure location. All good. Yes, yeah, so up over here. It's up knowledge stone. Hit this up. This is where you don't want to hammer the buttons and go through too fast. Okay. Cool. And there we go. And I want to select that one. There. Sweet. Hopefully that's going to find me another relic site and I can go dig up even more treasure. However, I'm running out of space because of all these eggs I've got on my person. And the bits and bobs that I got gifted earlier. So, 19... Oh. Has it highlighted the same one again? Or has it given me a separate one? I think it's locked onto the same one that I was already heading to, people. Oh, well. It is what it is. Cool. Let's get my bird. And let's continue flying. Okay, chums, while we're still coming across buildings, there's a minor settlement here. We can go check out the multi-tool. Let's have a look-see. Recharge my life support. I should use oxygen for now. Sweet. Well, let's go hit up this and get the um, navigational datas. Shkaboom. Navigational data, lovely. And over this way, on this landing pad, there's a few bits and bobs that I want over here as well. Rusted metal, lovely. 
Nanites in there. I want to get a relic. And we've got a storm, so I might as well shelter in here until the storm ends. We've got ourselves a multi-tool. Let's have a look at it. So C-Class, it's got a fair few slots. It hasn't got an advanced mining laser in it, but it has got a bolt caster. Quite nice. So, yeah, not too bad. It's miles away from our actual um, factional area, so I don't think it's worth really sharing the coordinates for this one. Got some nav data. Pretty nice. Grab this off the wall. Might as well open these. There's usually a little mini vendor in here, isn't there? Tucked into the wall, but... I'm not, oh, there he is. I went straight past him. Hello there, mate. What have you got for sale? Let's have a look, see. Let's see if he's selling nav data. He's got wiring looms. I got gifted some earlier, so that was quite handy. Oh, exosuit upgrade chart as well. Very handy to have. So it might be worth giving you guys the coordinates for this. You might want to come further afield. So I will, I will give the coordinates for it. So here we go. Let's just take me off the screen for a second. Yeah, there you go. There's the coordinates right there to my crew. I guess. And we're back. Pow. Right. Well, I guess I'm heading over. That's where I need to go then. I'll just grab that plant. Might as well. Lovely. Let me out. Go. Cool. Well, we're going to continue flying that way. Seven more minutes. But we might come across more nav data on the way. You know what? If I do, I'll just collect it. You don't have to see me collect it, do you? Right, well, I've arrived, located at the actual relic site that I had earmarked all that time ago. Got to get the keys. And same drill, I'll reconvene once I'm about to open the chest. That guess. Well, here we go, people. Going to access the old chest. Here we go. Chicka pow. Chicka boom. And done. Sweet. Oh, okay. Cursed documents. Hmm. Okay, well, we got those. And now my inventory is completely full. I am glad I got that, though. That's awesome. And the fact that I managed to get some lovely sack venom on the way here, too. Definitely doing my part for my team. Awesome. Right, well, now I've got the journey back to my base. Which, that's not it. How far away is my base? Will it be where my ship is? Because, you know, my ship is still parked at my base. Brew crew, four hours, all the way over there. All my days. That's a trek and a half. But at least I've got my bird. So, yeah, let's, 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 choose, choose, let's choose a different bird, I think. I go for one that is fast. I go for... Pink. This guy. No, this guy. Sweet. Let's go. Back to base. I'll see you when I get back to base, people. Chums, I'm flying back over to my actual hub. It's nice once you actually see, you know, all the buildings coming into sight from your faction. I am home. Here I am. Awesome. Let's, uh, let's touch on down on the surface. Let's run on in. And I need to put all my things inside my vault. I can swap back to normal mode now that I'm actually back inside of my faction. Let's go hit up my vault. Sweet. And let's get all this stuff transferred over. That and those. That goes. And that. And that. We've got some real awesome items now. So these are my two main items. I've got that one that's worth one five. That that's worth one six. Hopefully we've done enough people to, you know, beat the other factions i think it's just the highest value that we're going for and then the total amount of sack venom so we've got 40 so far if you have got sack venom make sure you get it turned in if you've got anything higher value than these make sure they come over to me anything that's less than that i don't know whether we're going to be doing a full calculation of it all added together or whether we're just going for the total the, the best find you know I think it's going to be the best find. So technically, if you have got anything that's not as good as these two items, you may as well sell it for units and the old station. You know? So there we go, people. I mean, all this sort of stuff, I could always re-gift this to people when we do the next quest or something, because rewards, I don't know. But yeah, I've got a few bits that I've got left over. I've got some eggs that I can give out to people. So anybody that is turning stuff in, if you're quick, hopefully I'll be able to give you a pet of sorts. I've got four flyers. 
and then I've got two rideable mounts as well. So yeah, drop on by. If you haven't got charts, I've got six more charts. So I might use those myself over the weekend though, to be honest, and go and get a load more relics, see if I can beat these. Very cool. Anyway, that's everything I've got for you this, this morning, people. I will be sitting here though, offline, well not offline, but online, for any of my um, cohorts and my crew, the brew crew, to turn in items to me, people. So you gotta just pop into the old cram remote and uh, keep an eye out for people coming to visit. So if you do come and drop stuff off, I will give you a pet egg if I've got one. Okay, peeps. Whew, well, that was that was a fun morning. Anyway, people, thank you for watching. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.